Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you enjoyed last week's video with the Simple Glam Girls Oval Brushes. Um, I will be using them in my video today, well a few of them, and also we will be using their purple unicorn brushes as well today. Um, don't forget if you did want those, I will leave my discount code down below so you can get 20% off. Um, and if you did like that video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go click subscribe. But today, as you could probably see by the title, I am going to be reviewing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now, I know I say this with a lot of my foundations that I review that I always hit good things. This is supposed to be like the best one of all time for oily skin. Um, I'll just read what's got on here. Double wear, stay in place, tint. Oh, that's not even in English. I'm going to try. Um, it says for all skin types. This remarkable, lasting, yet lightweight makeup wears comfortably up to 15 hours. I won't be trying it for 15 hours. Um, even in a high humidity, it is pretty warm today. And under my studio lights, it is hot as anything. So we'll see. Um, won't smudge off or come off on clothes. Oil free, fragrance free, non acnegenic dermatologist and whatever that word says, tested. <laughs> But this comes in a beautiful smoky glass bottle. I think packaging's like a big deal for me. Like I pretty much just bought the Kim and Kylie collab liquid lipsticks purely because I like the packaging. Um, and I love smoky glass and that's what they were. So I'm going to do the same thing I do in all my foundation reviews. I'm going to beauty blender one side and use the brush for the other side. I am going to use this brush um, because I know... How flawless foundation comes out with it um, but I just want to know what it's gonna be like with a beauty blender because I always use my beauty blender now I'm gonna get straight into this I've used the same primer that I use for all foundation tests which is my Mecca Cosmetica one um, it's just like a moisturizer to prep my skin so I'm going to start with my beauty blender side and then I'll go in my brush side and we'll see how it goes So I bought this when I went to Queensland. <laughs> um, I was nice and tanned then. I don't know if this is going to be my shade. It looks kind of dark. It's not watery, that's for sure. Look, I can hold it up and it doesn't run. Um, yeah, let's just see how this goes. So I'm going to make this side, my beauty blender side. Um, I get, this is really, really pale. Considering I bought it when I was really, really tan. Oh my god, it's so pale. Maybe she gave me the wrong one. It looks really dark though. Coverage wise, definitely needs a second layer. That's for sure. Doesn't really cover anything. Which I thought this was more of a full cover foundation. But clearly not. Um, I might even need to go in with some concealer because that's not working. Look, wow, okay. Um, I'm a ghost now that I put that second layer on. I think my NARS concealer is darker than this. Alright, I'm going to go in with my brush side. I'm just going to have to stab this everywhere. I'm not happy about the colour, like it looks really dark in the bottle. Anyways. Don't understand why when I was tanner, it was uh, maybe she did give me the wrong one. I can say that it blended out a lot better on this side. I can say that I am really unimpressed with the colour though. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to conceal and then set my face and then I'll show you how even more pale I look. As you can see, underneath my eyes are really yellow because my concealer is too dark. 
it is too dark so that's good um looks a little stupid i'm gonna have to go in with my benefit bronzer and just bronze everywhere like and just hope that that's gonna work i'm going to use one of my purple unicorn brushes now these are for si from simple glam girls as well they just released these last week week before um and I already have like tart ones like this, but the, I couldn't help it. The color of these are so amazing. And you can use the crystals that I made code to get 20% off these ones as well. Um, they come with a purple bristle and I think black and white or brown and white. I'm not sure. Um, but they are super soft. So I'm going to use this for bronzer today. I'm literally going to have to bronze everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And I always also noticed that my concealer has gone a little patchy. My concealer does not like this foundation. Which kind of sucks because I love the concealer. Okay, as you can see, I'm sort of at a natural color now. I'm still pretty pale. I'm not happy about that. Um, but my contouring on my cheekbones especially is looking incredible um i use the angled brush um to contour with i usually don't use an angled one i use my big fluffy one but this one really blended nicely um even though i'm still quite pale um but i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna see how it's looking so far i'm not really impressed because it didn't blend well with my nars concealer I don't like products that don't blend well together. Like, why? <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, that is the final look. I tried my first ever half cut crease and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, how I'm feeling with the foundation. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is everywhere. Um, it is pale. I'm not going to lie, it is really pale. Um, and it's not full coverage at all i thought this would be a lot more full coverage everyone says it is um even it says lightweight but people say it's really heavy um but in person it doesn't look good <laughs> at all um and i don't think i've ever done a review where i didn't really like the product but this is not nice this is for a high-end brand, Estee Lauder, and the foundation looks like this. I'd rather use my $20 one from the supermarket, sadly. Um, so yeah, my first impression of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, don't like it. Sadly, because this is an expensive foundation, it's not my colour, and I bought it when I was 10, I colour matched when I was 10, how's that even work? I don't know. Um, doesn't mix with my concealer. Doesn't cover anything. <laughs> Not happy. I am happy with anything with the unicorn brushes from Simple Glam Girls. Oh, that's not one. What is that? Um, they were actually really soft and really good to contour with. As you can see, my cheeks are nice and contoured. It would look even better if I had a full coverage foundation on there. Um, yeah so i'm gonna leave it so far i haven't had any shininess i still look matte as anything um so since i put it on it's been an hour i took my time to do my face today and it's first time doing a cut crease so i want to test that out and take my time with that so it's been an hour no oil and i swear if i wear this for a good five six hours and i'm not shiny i'm gonna be pissed because that means this is the only foundation that won't go shiny on me and it's not full cover and it looks blotchy so if it doesn't show any oil by the time i'm ready to take this off i'm going to be super annoyed because that's going to be the only good thing and that's what girls with oily skin want um but yeah that is pretty much it if you have tried this please let me know down below or on instagram because i'm not seeing the hype that everyone else saw sadly 
Um, that's all for today. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and go click the subscribe button and I'll leave a link to the purple unicorn brushes down below along with my code so you can get 20% off. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye guys. Hey everyone, so it has currently been three hours. Check my phone. Yep, it's about three hours since I put the foundation on and I'm still matte as anything. Now, I did say that I would be very, very annoyed if the oil did not seep through in this foundation because that's what I have been looking for. This foundation is pale. It's probably my fault. Wrong shade, but it's not full cover and all I wanted was a full cover matte foundation that didn't go shiny. And that is what has happened, but it's just not full cover. Oh, um, so three hours is pretty good. I can touch it. Doesn't transfer. Remember it said it was smudge proof. Does it come off? <sighs> shattered. Absolutely shattered. That this has to be the foundation oil free for me um now as you can see i'm in a different setting i'm just in my bedroom here i'm editing another video at the moment um so i've just chucked my ring light on <laughs> um yeah not happy i will take some more photos from about four five maybe six hours if i still have it on six hours will put me at what time it's about three now it's about 8 30. yeah i should have it on um Anyways, I'm going to come back in, take some more photos, and then at six hours, I'll come back and we'll see where we're going. Hey everyone, so it is now 20 to 9 at night. Um, I don't know what this quality of the footage is going to turn out like, um, because I literally only have my ring light because I'm in my bedroom trying to edit this other video so I can get that to you first. Um, but as you can see, I'm not that shiny. And it has been over six hours. <sighs> like I should be ecstatic that I'm oil free after six hours. That's never happened to me before. Um, but I'm not because I don't like the coverage of this foundation. Now I know why everyone's been saying it's the best for oily skin because it literally like I'm a little shiny. It may look like a little shiny, but that just because I'm too close. There we go. That's my highlight on my nose. That's not oil. Like I can do that and nothing is transferring. Um, so six hours, no oil. If you have oily skin, I would recommend it for that. Um, but if you've got a lot of acne scouring or like imperfections on your skin, it's not gonna look good. Um, I might even try it with a damp beauty blender because I'm not ready to give up. <laughs> um, so is this product getting a thumbs up for me? It's getting this. <laughs> I don't love it. The only thing I like about it is that I'm six hours in oil free. Six freaking hours. Don't like the coverage. Didn't like that it didn't mix with my concealer. Didn't like the shade. But it's oil free. So it's getting a, a wonky hand at the moment. I'm sitting on the fence about it. I'm going to have to get my right shade. and I don't know. Figure something out because it's oil free and I need it. <laughs> um, but that is pretty much it. If you like this review, go give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. I'm going to continue editing because I need to get this video to you guys. Um, and I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye guys.